people. The heart of the Itter Mountain Power Project is people. Without them, one of the largest power plants in the United States would stop coal. It is people who have kept Intermountain Generating Facility in peak operating condition for more than three decades. And it is people who are managing the generating facility's transition to changing energy markets. Ensuring the safety of the generating station's employees is the Intermountain Power Project's top priority. It's also a task that involves every single employee. In 2014, a behavior-based safety program known as VOLTS, Valuing Our Lives Through Safety, was launched. The program trains and deploys observers throughout the facility to identify employee behaviors that need correcting and works with employees and supervisors to resolve them. A central safety committee is also used to evaluate employee suggestions for equipment and physical facilities that will improve safety. 100% of generating facility employees have been trained as VOLTS observers. Several hundred observations are recorded each month by VOLTS observers. Additionally, the Central Safety Committee implemented 31 improvements based on employee suggestions during the fiscal year. The effectiveness of the VOLTS program and the Central Safety Committee is evident in the generating facility's safety statistics. At the end of fiscal 2017, the facility logged 462 days since the last lost time incident or accident, an OSHA lost time incident rate of zero. The station's OSHA recordable incident rate was only 1.88 cases per 200,000 hours worked. These employees operate and maintain a facility that is capable of generating enough electricity for 1.5 million homes. Located in Millard County, Utah, the Intermountain Generating Facility is comprised of two 900-megawatt coal-fueled generators linked to the Western Power Grid by a pair of project-owned transmission systems. In fiscal 2017, changes in Western power markets caused the lowest electricity generation in project history, even as the Intermountain Generating Facility achieved excellent levels of availability and reliability. Net generation was 8,143 gigawatt hours. Despite the record low generation, efficiency actually increased slightly over the previous year. Net facility heat rate was 9,716 BTUs per kilowatt hour, an improvement over 2016's 9,767 BTUs per kilowatt hour. Decreased electricity generation creates challenges for operation and maintenance at large power plants. Generating units that previously ran at steady baseload rates are increasingly called upon to cycle between various output levels. This accelerates wear on some components of the generating station, presenting challenges for availability and reliability. Despite these challenges in fiscal 2017, Intermountain Generating Facility posted solid results. Equivalent availability was 90.9%, and the equivalent forced outage rate of 1.05% was the 15th best performance in the project's history. Six unit shutdowns occurred during the fiscal year, four of which were unplanned. This is the lowest annual number in project history. The forced outage rate of 0.02% was the best performance in project history. Decreased electricity generation results in decreased coal consumption. In fiscal 2017, Intermountain Generating Station consumed 3.65 million tons of coal, the lowest annual amount in project history. As power purchasers continue to schedule less coal-fueled electricity in response to market conditions, the project expanded coal storage at the generating station site in order to accommodate coal purchases that were previously committed. Careful operations and maintenance are keys to IPP's high availability and reliability. A six-week planned maintenance outage for Unit 2 was completed at the end of April 2017. Major projects undertaken included extensive work on the turbine generator, including completion of a generator connection ring vibration monitoring upgrade, completion of a generator core monitor upgrade, and completion of a main step-up transformer cooling improvement upgrade. 
a multi-year project to repair cooling tower concrete and refurbish cooling tower mechanical equipment continued. In the boiler area, a chemical cleaning was conducted and major overhauls of the B and G pulverizers were completed. 12 burner nozzles and six burner elbows were replaced, along with two DA flash tanks. A 1.64-day unplanned outage occurred on Unit 2 when a sequence of events stretching from the coal pile to a consultant's instrument calibration error led to a fire in boiler burner lines. The fire was quickly extinguished by automatic fire suppression systems and no one was injured, but the incident provided a rich opportunity for improving plant procedures. An example of innovative planning took place during the Unit 2 maintenance outage when a helicopter was used to lift scaffolding and supplies for repair of fiberglass on the main stack. The helicopter expense was $2,000 per hour and it was used for four hours one day to lift the materials and tools up to the job. Four more hours were required to bring materials and tools down when the work was completed two months later. Without the helicopter, the estimated time to move the material was two weeks up and two weeks down. Ten workers on the job for four weeks would have incurred much higher costs and exposed personnel to greater safety risks. One of IPP's most remarkable operating accomplishments continued in 2017 as no boiler tube leaks were experienced during the fiscal year. Boiler tube leaks, which are common at large coal-fueled power plants, are an unusual event at Intermountain because of the project's aggressive boiler tube failure reduction program. As of September 30, 2017, Unit 1 had completed 1,326 days without any lost generation caused by tube leaks. Unit 2 had completed 2,212 days, more than six years of operation with no lost time caused by tube leaks. Intermountain Generating Facility has had only one tube leak since September 2011. Skill, creativity, dedication, and pride from Intermountain's experienced workforce is the wellspring of IPP's success. As the project enters its fourth decade of efficient and reliable operations, these are the people who will continue working safely to keep the electricity flowing.